I'm going to recreate best ever Real Madrid 11 using the Youth Academy only. We will go position by position, identify the best for that position in the Blanco's history, and scout a youth talent as similar to that player as possible. We are starting from a player who is known worldwide as a symbol of the club, with outstanding 741 appearances and impressive 323 goals for Blancos. The captain, Raul Gonzalez Blanco, and hopefully we can find an exceptional talent to represent him in our fantasy team because today's challenge is to win the treble with Real Madrid youth talents the one and only thing they have never won but that is going to be very difficult as I decimated the new Galacticos by discarding their best players and put the club into the second division which I hope we are going to conquer quite easily, as the first player that we have found is looking great already. Pedro Verdejo, 1.3 million market value and up to 94 potential. He is 62 rated center forward with brilliant pace, so he can be promoted to the senior team instantly and become the first player in our fantasy 11. Next up, let's head to Croatia to find our own Luka Modric, an extraordinary player that understands the game perfectly with unique ability to create space out of nowhere and a Ballon d'Or winner of course. And we have found this guy, Oliver Horvat, with good market value and great potential. He is only 58 rated right now, but with a great dribbling on him. Overall, a promising talent, hopefully he can develop fast and become a guaranteed starter for us next season. Next up we are visiting Brazil to find some winger left backs. There were two amazing Brazilian left backs in Real's history, first being Marcelo and Roberto Carlos of course. Arguably the player with most powerful long shots in the history of the game. That part is not going to be easy to recreate. But besides that, we have found two guys already who are looking very decent. Tassio Feliciano and Bosco Pacifico. Feliciano is a 54 rated left back with only 40 defending but with the stats of a well balanced winger. In terms of attacking stats, Pacifico may be even better but he is currently a center back. Brilliant logic from EA. After conversion to a left back, he went up by 7 in his rating. We are going to work on these two players defending and one of them will be a starter from us eventually. Next up we stay in Brazil for an attacker for our fantasy team. As one of the best strikers that has ever played a game of millions was from this country. El Fenomeno, Ronaldo Nazario de Lima was just unmatched in his dribbling and scoring abilities at his time. Two times Ballon d'Or winner, a true legend of Blancos will be our main striker today and we have a good talent to represent him. Sein Ritter. Who? I have never heard a name that feels less Shoga Bonita, so I'm going to call him Zinio. Zinio does have 1.5 million market value and up to 94 potential. He is already 63 rated striker with good pace and brilliant dribbling. We just need to work on his shooting. So Zinio, welcome to the team. And a quick note, he is going to break the game later in this video. Just stick with us and you will see what I mean. Next positions we are up to fill are two center backs. There are two particular Spanish defenders that had an unbelievable career for Real Madrid. Starting with Fernando Hierro, a defender with the technical ability to bring the ball out from the back. During his 14 years at the club, he played 601 games, scoring 127 goals. A ridiculous number for a center back. The second player in our list was also a goal scoring machine. 671 games for Real Madrid, fourth in the club history with 101 scored goals. Sergio Ramos is truly an icon of the game. And we did found two players during three months scouting in Spain. Starting with Jose Marcos, 1.4 million market value, 77 to 94 potential. He is already 63 rated center back, so he can be promoted to the senior team directly. As well as the second guy, Vicente Suarez, even higher market value but a little bit less potential on him. He is currently 66 rated and with his signing, we are so sorted for a center back position for now. So let's head to France to find a technically gifted center midfielder who can represent in our fantasy team Zinedine Zidane himself, a player who are broadly recognized as one of the best midfielders in the history of the game, if not the best. Despite being a little bit slow on the ball, he was reading the game instantly, so elegant and unique. He had a true winning mentality, yet another Ballon d'Or winner in our team. I was skeptic about finding a good quality talent for Zidane. But 
But here he is, Aaron Joko. 2.5 million market value and up to 93 potential. He is already 68 rated center midfielder. And you know how hard it is to scout a good center midfielder in FC24. I think he is one of the best I have ever seen. That's pretty lucky for us. Hopefully our good luck will continue. As we are going to scout for a goalkeeper in Spain to represent one of the best keepers of his generation. Iker Casillas is a true icon of Real Madrid and Spanish football in general. He spent phenomenal 25 years wearing the white kit, recording 725 appearances for the club, second in the list after Raul. Juan Marcado is the talent who is going to represent him in our squad. We got yet another defender from Spain, Felipe Vidal, currently a center back, but we are going to convert him to a right back to represent Michel Salgado, maybe the weakest link of this whole team. Meanwhile we approach the end of the season in the Segunda. We are only 14th in the league, that was to be expected with the kind of team we had. And Real Sociedad smashed us in the Copa del Rey, that was harsh. But all the players that we have promoted and loaned out got decent overall growth and gathered good experience, preparing them to be the starters in the next season. We tried couple of different combinations in Portugal to find our own Cristiano Ronaldo. But yet we have found this guy, Elder Duarte, with good market value and great potential. But he's not a good fit for Cristiano, so we are going to left his position of right winger untouched. And he is going to represent Luis Figu in our squad, who was a part of original Galacticos, broadly known as the biggest traitor in football for swapping Barcelona directly with Real Madrid. Figo was an exceptional talent though. And it deserves a place in our team. But this guy, Fernão Moreira, is the one I was searching for so long. 2.7 million market value and amazing potential on him. 66 rated camp. With great well rounded stats, we can convert him to a left winger easily. He is going to be the guy who represents Cristiano Ronaldo in our team. I don't think we need to present Ronaldo's achievements in football. I am going to mention only his stats for Real Madrid. 451 goals in 438 games. Just a Amazing. <laughs> True. And with this signing, we completed our first 11. But I'm still unsatisfied. Look how many legends are going to be on the bench for us. Ferenc Puskas, the first international superstar for Real Madrid. 262 games played, 242 goals scored. Will be represented by Robert Farkas in our team. Even that surname sounds similar to Puskas. Garrett Bale, an important part of BBC Trio for Real Madrid. And we have Nathan Koenig from Wales for Bale. Another Ballon d'Or winner, Fabio Cannavaro, did not make a star in 11. Although Matteo Parisis, who is going to represent Cannavaro in our team, is an outstanding talent to be fair. Even such an icon of the game, like Alfredo Di Stefano, didn't make our first 11. That is dumb. How can a player with 396 official matches and 308 goals be left out from the starting 11? Anyways, we do have Hulen Para as a region for Di Stefano. But the player who didn't make our team at all is Karim Benzema. Sorry guys, that is not fair that Bale is here but not Benzema. But we had so many strikers to choose from. That was an extremely tough choice for us. And to complete our bench we also added Finn Gash for Toni Kroos and Bernardo Monteiro for Pepe. And these two were the last signings today. Our scouting mission is officially over. Let's see whether we can be promoted to the La Liga this season. Apparently we are going to stay one more season here. We are only 10th and also out from the Copa del Rey in the first round itself. The best goal scorer of the team is Reynier but he is not going to be in the team next season. Other than that Zinho had a great season with 23 goal involved. Let's hope everybody else will be much more effective next season, so we can be promoted to the La Liga, finally. I know this formation is kinda weird, but we are Real Madrid and we are going to attack as hard as we can. And that tactics bring us long-weighted success. We ended up the regular season in the second position, direct promotion to the La Liga, a slight improvement in the Copa del Rey as well. And okay, we got a new top scorer in the team. It is Verdejo with 23 goals, but Sinio had another brilliant season with 
33 goal contributions in 45 games. And yet we are expecting more from Moreira to be honest. Because everybody should work harder next season as this team is going to struggle in the La Liga, especially defensively, where our players are still quite low rated. Having said that, let's hope for the best. And no way, we somehow managed to survive in a top flight, 16th in the league. We even made the Copa del Rey semi-final just to lose it to Atletico Bilbao. Verdejo and Senior carried us this season as well. But to be fair, we are developing fast. All our players had a massive boost in their growth last season. So this time we have to do better. And much better. We ended up the season in the Champions League spot. Such a massive improvement in terms of results compared to the previous season. Yet another Copa del Rey semi-final for us. But we lost to Villarreal's second team. How they even reached semis, I don't understand. And Villarreal literally won it already. As they will face their second team in the final. How stupid that is from EA. Anyways, Zinho and Verdejo had somewhat decent season once again. And this time Moreira was more productive on the pitch as well. Let's hope we can win the league next season itself. But no, we are even out of top 4. How did this happen? We are going to miss out on the Champions League football next season. And again, semi-final exit from the Copa del Rey. This stage is cursed for us. However, in terms of goal contributions, we did look better. Especially a frontman of our attacks, Zinho. Let's simulate next season and hopefully our team is going to forget this failure of a season. And they kinda did. We returned our spot in the top 4, so we are qualified for the Champions League. As you remember, our challenge is to win treble. For that, we need to be in the UCL initially. But no, this time Zinho had a stinker of a season with only 10 goals. And I think he got massively disappointed by his performances. Cause I don't know how to describe what happened right after this. But firstly, we finally won the La Liga with 84 points. We worked very hard to win it during the last four seasons. And even more trophies were waiting for us. Both Super Copa de España and Copa del Rey goes to us as well. And we could have completed the challenge in this season itself. But we lost to Inter in the Champions League quarterfinals. If you remember, I told you earlier that Zinho is going to break the game. That's what just happened. 60 goals and 8 assists in a single season. I have never seen such numbers in FC24 from a single player. That is out of this world. I am blown away by his stats honestly. And at this rate we are going to win every possible trophy next season due to this man. Starting with the La Liga, we dominated the league and won it with 102 points. We got the Copa del Rey once again and this time we indeed reached the Champions League final where we are going to face Dortmund. And again, over 60 goal contributions from Zinho, a generational talent we have. And our left back has gone mental as well with 25 assists. This team is more than capable of winning this final quite comfortably. So let's jump straight to the pitch itself. Where to be honest, we struggled massively to convert our goal scoring opportunities. I mean, how did we score 104 goals in the La Liga and 30 goals in the Champions League when we are battling every chance we create? As a result, penalties are going to decide the Champions League winners and whether we can complete our challenge of winning first ever treble for Real Madrid already this season. Luckily for us, our goalie Marc Gadot made two saves in the post-match penalty series to win the ultimate trophy for us. The challenge is completed and if you want to see more of this content, click here to watch me recreating best ever Arsenal 11.